St. John's County Commissioners unanimously approve a workforce housing ordinance after a lengthy prior debate. Amy Cherry takes a closer look. The law requires 30% of units in a new community to be workforce housing. That's down from 40%. The maximum sales price of those units is $260,000, up $20,000 from initial proposals. Commissioner Krista Joseph expressed concerns with the cost increases. The workforce can't afford $260,000. And if I'm looking at the rental rate at 90% AMI, that's $1,400 $1, a month, which again, you have to be making probably over sixty or 70000 a year, which nurses and firemen and policemen are making around fifty. The ordinance also adds safeguards to rentals in workforce housing. So the rent would not increase for two years. If someone is having a hard time, it usually takes a couple of years to get back on your feet, maybe divorce, single mom or dad, and hopefully by two years they can, before they, you know, the rent goes up on them. Commissioners Henry Dean and Joseph agree on the area median income or AMI percentage. Maybe 70 or 80 percent, 70 I'm, would be. I'm, I'm comfortable with 70, 80 or 90. I'm, I'm comfortable, comfortable with 70. All right, well, I'm comfortable too. Dean moved to approve three amendments that included no rent increases for two years, a maximum AMI rental rate of 70 percent, and a requirement for annual reporting of demographic information. And with those changes, it passed. With St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. The first known case of chronic wasting disease has been confirmed in Florida. The first victim was a white-tailed deer in Holmes County. The Fish and Wildlife Commission has issued a public service announcement explaining chronic wasting disease. CWD is a disease of the brain and central nervous system that is always fatal to infected members of the deer family. It's a contagious disease, and once it's introduced to an area, it can spread quickly within a deer population. There's no vaccine or cure for CWD, also known as zombie deer disease. An infected deer shows signs of the disease in the latter stages. Deer will be extremely skinny, sickly, and have lost their natural wariness of people. Here's how the disease spreads. Through an infected deer coming into direct contact with another one. Deer can also become infected when browsing an area contaminated by CWD prions. Those prions can be spread in the landscape through bodily fluids or a decaying carcass. It's possible that in the future CWD could have a dramatic effect on deer populations. But the good news? So far there's no evidence this can be spread to humans. However, it's wise to be very careful. Those who see or harvest a sick or extremely skinny deer should avoid handling it and call the CWD hotline. Florida is now the 31st state with a confirmed case. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. Hastings Main Street holds a morning pop-up market tomorrow. Director of Hastings Main Street Incorporated, Jenna Davis, describes what shoppers will find at the market. We have everything from local vendors that are doing handmade goods. We have a person that's bringing house plants with macrame. We have hot sauces. There's a little Airstream boutique that's coming, a popsicle truck, a couple of food trucks. We have just an amazing mix of different vendors and there's also antique and vintage items as well. There is also a special guest. Greg Leonard, who is the author of the Hastings book, is going to be doing a presentation in Normandy's and it's open to the public and it's just a wonderful opportunity for the community to come together and learn more about Hastings history. And afterwards, we're doing a community outreach to let everyone know about our nonprofit group so that we can help pinpoint ideas as a community of what we need to focus on, what the community would like to see, improvements, new businesses, infrastructure, things like that. Also, we're planning to meet and discuss the new design for the Hastings Library. So it's just a great place for people to come together and spend some time getting to know one another. The market opens at 9 a.m. and Leonard's presentation is at 1 p.m. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Rich Petschke. The weekend is here and there's plenty of family fun to be had in St. John's County. This is Stacy with Fun for Augie Kids. Tonight, the St. John's Parks and Recreations is hosting a teen streetlight program. This event is available for teenagers in grades 6 through 12 to come hang out with friends and mentors. There will also be music, games, dancing, movies, food, and fun. 
Tomorrow, the Morris Center is hosting a family fun fest. Enjoy free occupational therapy screenings in collaboration with the University of St. Augustine for Health Sciences. There will also be sensory stations, face painting, parent resources, delicious food, and ice cream. So don't miss out on this fantastic event. Join Urban Youth Park for a themed kids' night out. Enjoy warped walls, trampolines, bars, and obstacle courses. Pizza is also included. This event is available for kids aged 5 and up. For more on these events and others, please visit us on our website at fun, the number 4, augiekids.com. Have a great weekend. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's local morning news. I'm Rich Carroll.